Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'm using these two plastic plates from Walmart, this Lazy Susan from the Target Dollar Spot, and these two large dowels from Dollar Tree to make a paint holder. I started by measuring the dowels down seven inches, taping them together, and using my miter box and saw to cut them. Once I had those cut down, I took one of the larger dowels from the other half, taped that to the original two, and cut that down. So I had three pieces at seven inches. I then took my Barcelona beige chalk paint and painted those three seven inch dowels with two coats. I then took this Lazy Susan from Target, which was in the Target dollar spot, and painted the outside edge with the Barcelona beige and then a little bit on the top. The center of it will be covered, so I did not do that part. And then I took the three dowels, hot glued them to one of my plastic plates. And again, those were from Walmart. I just tried to space them out evenly. And then I put some hot glue on the tops of them and placed down my other plastic plate right on top of those. And I didn't paint the plates, I like the color of them, plus if I get paint on them, it'll wipe up easily. And I didn't paint the plates, I like the color that they were, so I just left them as is. After I had the holes made, I took some small screws and just screwed them inside each of those holes. And doing this, it made the dowels at the bottom kind of shift a little. So I end up taking it back apart on the bottom and re-gluing the dowels into place. So here I take the bottom plate back off and then add the hot glue again to the bottom of the dowels can't really see on the camera, but I'm just hot gluing them back into place in the spots I want them. And then after I do that, I flip it upside down. So this is the bottom of my bottom plate. Again, making my markings and pre-drilling the holes with a small drill bit. So what I'm doing is drilling through the plate right into the center of the dowel. And then again, taking small screws and putting those into those holes. That's what it looks like so far. And then I took this shelf liner, which was from Dollar Tree. I cut it down to the size of the inside of my plates and then just hot glued in a couple different spots just to keep that from moving. And so when I have paint on there, I won't slide around when it's spinning. I did the same thing on the bottom, just notching out the holes for my dowels. And then I took some Gorilla Grip glue, placed a decent amount on the top of the Lazy Susan, adding hot glue and placing down my plates. So I just make sure to push that down, make sure it's nice and dry. And that is it for this project. Super easy and I just love it. Thank you guys so much for watching.